Hello everyone, welcome to my 20th tutorial in JavaScript. So I hope you uh, learned something by now. And uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys today about another object, another uh, feature in objects. And this is called the match. And what this does is it allows you to tell JavaScript, alright, we're looking for something. And if it is included in here, or if it's matched in here, we want you to output it on the screen. As you can see, the index of just gave us the placement of it. Now we want to say, all right, if we have a word and we and it matches, then tell us that it matches. And this might not seem useful right now, but once we get into programming, which is probably in a couple tutorials, then I'll show you how it's really useful with verifying forms and stuff like that. So as you can see last time, hopefully you watched my last tutorials, instead of index of, after our string, instead of index of, we want to type the word match. And what this is going to do is search for this word, Mikey, in our string of text, which is the variable word. So let's go ahead and save this. And as you can see, Mikey is nowhere in Hello Bob, my name is Susie. So let's, let me show you what it does. It says null. And this is JavaScript's way of saying that alright the word Mikey is nowhere in your variable <clears throat> but let's say we do have something in here that says name and as you can see name matches this right here so they are the same so when we save this and refresh all JavaScript does is output the word name and this is JavaScript's way of telling that alright you do have a match in a string and real quick like say something say you want to verify someone's form and you know that they might spell something wrong like this and if they do that as you can see they spell name wrong and searching through this JavaScript won't be able to find it anywhere so when we save this again it says null and this is a way where you can shut off your program and said or you can warn the user alright you spelled something wrong or you messed up cause whatever we were trying to do it didn't match in here so that's one way of programming just real quick how you can validate form so we'll be talking more about this later and it'll actually be useful and make a lot more sense than just trying to do it single handedly but Right now, I'm just trying to teach you guys the basics before we uh, include this in any bigger program. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little something at least. And uh, go to my website, autolandchat.com. I'll give you a link, and you can register. Thanks. Bye.